the shoes uh, and like i said earlier uh, you know this is 90s uh, you know inspiration this is these were the shoes that uh, you know was worn in uh, 1990s and britney spears was our brand ambassador at wow. that point of time yeah i mean she actually was you know endorsing this uh, product she line she was iconic yeah so she was iconic. like yeah, yeah. Uh, and and that trend is coming back so you know the whole chunky sneakers dad sneakers uh, ugly sneakers the way they call it oh. but the cool thing about sketchers is and i've noticed this because i've always been a huge fan of it they've been making chunky sneakers for the longest time absolutely even so, though it's back in style yes. from the 90s um i feel that you guys have been making it since early 2000s yeah so yeah right so it's like it's always been there it, it's been you with guys, us all the time so you, you guys know, are way before your time yes for the time yeah, <laughs> yeah we just went from chunky to chunkier yeah this time. exactly yeah. Yes. Cool. absolutely yeah. but uh jacqueline of course you wear sketches every day you're an yes, ardent lover of them and of course uh, as far as the youth of our nation is concerned you're an iconic right oh. so what do you have to say about delights what was your first thought when you saw them i love them i love them they sent me uh sketcher sent me i think you guys sent me four options uh all the colors are so cool because like they go with almost every outfit like every single outfit i was wearing and with this outfit especially all of my sketchers delights were going with it so um it was just about mixing and matching it's right. easy to pair up with anything it's easy to pair up with casuals it's easy to pair up with formals um what i love most about the chunkiness of it is that it gives you a little bit of height on the heel it does yeah so which Most i love 2 inches 
Almost two inches, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Which uh, I, of course, always, need. Yeah, exactly. Me too. I can always do it two I more like inches. Always, yeah. I will always opt for a height, for sure, any day. Fantastic. Okay, so for everyone who's watching us right now, uh, tell us, what's your personal sense of style? Uh, my personal sense of style would probably be something, and it's always been this way, it's been um, comfortable. So comfort is of utmost importance to me. Um, and I think also something that... Um, personifies, I think, um, fitness, mm -hmm. you know, so right. something that's like kind of fit and fun and, and yeah, but I think it's mainly been comfort. It's not so much about the trends, but like what you're comfortable actually wearing. Which is great, which is how it should be. <laughs> yeah. uh, Rahul, my next question is to you. Of course, with the success and expansion, where do you see Skechers in the Indian market five to ten years from now? Well, that's, that's too long for me to think. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, India has been a great market for us. Uh, uh, you know, in the last five years, uh, we have kind of uh, moved up uh, pretty fast. And uh, uh, I, I think Indians love the shoes that we bring in. They're very comfortable. Uh, uh, as of today, we are like 250 stores. Uh, we just completed our Jan to December calendar, and the numbers are pretty awesome. So uh, wait, when I launched your 200, 200 store, store yes. which was in uh, October? October, we are at 230 stores right now. Guys, that's 30 <laughs> stores, yeah. like wow. in like less than three, three months. Like yeah, I was, I was telling you, we open you know, a store every three days, so that's the speed at which we are expanding. Yeah. So. I guess wow. we really love our sketches here. <laughs> <laughs> we do. Why not? Okay, so Jacqueline, there's no doubt that every time we see you, we think, oh wow, she looks perfect today. But to you, what's your perfect look? Like on what day when you're wearing what kind of clothes would you say, oh my god, I'm looking perfect. This is oh it. God. Um, Wow, that's crazy. I mean, I, I don't think, <laughs> I know it's something that people should be doing. It's like, it's a confidence thing, but oh my God, looking in the mirror and saying, hey, I look perfect. But <laughs> that's, I don't think that's something I, I think I concentrate on. Mm -hmm. I think like more so like, if I'm looking in the mirror, I would think to myself, am I being me? Am I being true to me? Um, because a lot of the times, I mean, like, it's, this is especially before in the past where, uh, you know, you get dolled up for your red carpets or you get dolled up for pictures or whatever it is, but you're not being yourself. Right. So I think the days that I really feel good about myself is the day I'm being the truest to myself. And that would be, you know, um, again, like I said, I'm at my most comfortable. Right. I'm at my most ease. And uh, I'm just being who I am. I'm being free. And that was the answer I was looking for. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. So, uh, you know, I mean, the first time I saw these uh, shoes, of course, I was immediately transported to the 90s and, you know, back to that phase where I was just out of school and back to college. Uh, Jacqueline, what's your... Yeah. You're so Classic. 90s today. I am. <laughs> I'm like this every day, actually. Like, so this, these are made for people like yeah. me. Yeah, the hoops. We're both wearing hoops. Yeah, yeah totally. We're going, yeah. It's cool. So, okay. Finally, uh, Jacqueline, before I throw the floor open to questions, yeah. what's your, uh, of course, you gave me a pretty good answer to the previous question, but what's your, uh, you know, what's ultimately, what do you want to tell the youth of our nation? Oh, wow. Um, so, I, I guess I want to just reiterate the fact that it is important to be yourself, but I am actually seeing that in today's youth because we have so much exposure to what our youth is doing nowadays right. through so many various social media platforms. And I have to say that I've I don't think I've seen such an amazing generation of young entrepreneurs, young thinkers, people who are very, very like switched on um, and very aware. Uh, so I want to say just, you know, be that person, continue being that person who speaks up, who has a voice, you have a voice now. I feel like the youth have this amazing thing, which was there, it was there in our time too, but like they also, this technology that they have now, use it and use it for the betterment, um, use it to achieve your goals, use it to rise above, um, and use it in a good way, in a good positive way. Fantastic. On that note, I've been told that we have only enough time to take two questions, okay? So in case you have a question directed to Jacqueline, of course, I don't need to tell you, but let's keep the question very brief and very specific to the reason why we're here. So if you have a question for the occasion, please raise your...
I think we answered all the questions, you know. Oh, you guys are having yeah. <laughs> No, no, they're saving it for their, um, I know, their TikToks. Okay, fantastic. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to quickly move into the photo opportunity. Okay, we have one question. Yes. Uh, number one is um, they should not uh, wear inappropriate clothes according to the weather um, because yeah, I, I've noticed a lot of people do that. Um, and uh, also they should, I think, um, dress according to what suits them. That usually is something, I mean, but you, I mean, you, you know, we have enough like common sense to know that, but I think it's, it's important. Some people tend to, I think, like avoid that, but uh, it is important. Hmm. <laughs> never say never, no. <laughs> um, something I would never wear? I don't know, actually. <laughs> I'm an actor. I mean, like, for me, it's like we have to switch into different, different roles. So I would never say never in that regard, no. Okay, fantastic. That's all the time we have. Jacqueline, we're going to quickly move into the photo opportunity right here. So I'm going to take your mic. 